Amazon is full of these stick welders posing as drills. Is this the best thing to hit welding this century or is it just junk? Subscribers have asked me if these little drill style all-in-one welders are a good option for a beginner and I've had my opinions. A little skeptical of this, but I've never had my hands on one, so I bought one today, less than 60 bucks, same day, prime delivery. It's the Fackens portable welding machine. That thing stinks. It smells like Harbor Freight on steroids here. This isn't drill size. This is like full on impact wrench. All right, the electrode holder, just clamp right there. Just in case you're hoping to weld in some cotton gloves. Ooh, silk. Also came with some uh, J422 welding rods. Cord's about as long as the machine with a rod in it. I mean, what? Okay, this thing goes from one to five. Let's try it on four. This has got a trigger like a drill. I guess you're supposed to pull that to weld. Crank it all the way up. I don't know what these welding rods are, but they smell like fish. Like seriously, it smells like fried fish in here. 332 seconds, 7014. So the arc is not very smooth. It's very sensitive to your arc length. A little too long, a little too short, and it goes out. Now this is some 3 seconds of an inch or 2.4 millimeter uh, 7014 rod that I had on hand. Um, thank goodness it doesn't smell like a burning down fish and chips shop. But uh, anyway, the amperage seems about right. A little cold, if anything. So I don't think this is actually running 120 amps like they claim. It's maxed out on the setting, but we'll check that out in a minute here. Spatter pretty much just scrapes off. Let's see how the slag does. You know, it, there's a decent result. So I'm not saying that this thing doesn't work. I fully recognize that this costs less than $60 delivered to my door. And so the fact that it works at all is awesome. This should read out the actual amperage. I have it maxed out on the highest setting. So let's see what it actually will do. It's bouncing around a lot, but the best I can tell is around 80 amps, which is quite a bit less than the 120 they claim, but it seems more reasonable. Without a high-end machine, it's very difficult to get more than 80 amps out of a welder running on 120 volts. At the end of the day, was the arc smooth? No. Was the amperage what they claimed? No, not even close. Did it make a weld? Yes, yes it did. But regardless of all that, I would never recommend this because you have to hold all this bulky stuff up while you're already doing a very difficult thing trying to control the end of this long electrode and feed in as it's burning off. I can't imagine any situation where this is a better option than something else. So what would I suggest? Now I assume if you're considering one of those, some things that are important to you are one, it's got to be relatively low cost. Two, um, you want something that plugs into 120 volts. And I assume also something that's easy to use for just repairs around the house. And I think a little flux core machine is a better option. So this is the titanium flux 125 from Harbor Freight. And uh, I think these work really well. I don't know that they're any better than a lot of the other options on Amazon or that you might find elsewhere. Um, but look for an inverter with DC output. The black one of these at Harbor Freight, kind of a dud. But this green one is pretty good um, for the money. And uh, if you really want a stick weld, then get just a regular inverter stick welder. Now this one is an expensive one, but there are some that are you know right around 100 bucks or even less. Uh, and some of those work pretty good. And the nice thing about that is you have this lead to an electrode holder, so you don't have to hold all that bulky stuff there. It just makes a whole lot more sense. 
I don't really know all of the cheap options on the market. I think it's worth it to spend a little bit more if you're able to, but if you are looking for something budget friendly, then uh, there's a channel, Big TV 1717 I think he does the best reviews that I've seen uh, for little um, cheap welding machines. And if you wanna see a really good comparison of flux core versus stick welding, especially for hobbyists, check out this video linked right here.